Hey gang, Jack Lair here. I'm uh, just gonna do a quick review of something that I picked up. I bought it back in February, and because of shipping problems, uh, it finally showed up not too long ago. And that is this little beauty, the PVP Pocket 18 Digital Pocket Handheld System. Brighter big screen, new game. The box is a little messed up uh, because it did come all the way from Hong Kong. As you can see, we've got Sonic on here. There are no Sonic games. It's Crash, there are no Crash games. Crash again on the top. Uh, TV available, rechargeable battery, cartridge included. Some of those guys are there. Let's see on the back. Play all the PvP Pocket 18 color. Blah 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 blah. It's got Sonic on there. Supposed to have Contra. A bunch of games I don't recognize. Double Dragon. Crash once again. It's a picture of the unit. Now the whole reason I got this is because I love the color orange. And I actually found this on the website and decided to give it a shot. Let's go ahead and pop it open here. It's got pretty much the standard flap. And open it up. Main unit, we'll get to that in a minute. Start out with the battery. It's a rechargeable battery. Meh. Whatever. It does come with a case. Now this is the kind of case that you would store nothing in. Because it's, it's tent material or duffel bag material is the only way I can describe it. But it's... Yeah, hear that? I wouldn't put that next to a game screen. All right, let's see what other exciting things are in the box. Um, instructions. Always good to have. Let's see. Product features. Game slot. Power off, power on. Direction pad. The LED. Now it actually lets you know when you charge. And the cool thing is that it actually does turn green. There's the reset. Uh, let's see. The USB, which... Yeah, yeah, technically sort of kind of true. Uh, the volume, start pause button, uh, all the buttons, AV out, which I have not tried, which we'll give a shot here later, power on and off cartridge, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically tells you how to plug it in, play it, cartridge use, compatible with more than 2,000 kinds of 8-bit games. Well, I'm glad that it's compatible with 2,000 of the 999,999 games. Whatever. Uh, rechargeable. Plug it in, it charges. Woohoo. Red means it's charging. Green means it's full. Just power off your console before connecting to AV. Got it. And then it's got some troubleshooting. Which is actually good. Is the PV turned on? Well, if the PvP is turned on, uh, just write your own joke there. So let's get to the unit. The whole reason I bought it, like I said, is it is orange. And is it ever orange? Now, I love that. The buttons are actually kind of okay. I mean, they're a little... It's really light. It's lighter than... Any other handheld I can think of. Uh, but it's got the buttons over here. It's got pretend buttons, the slot for the game cartridge, on and off button, the AV out. There's the little LED indicator. Now that is what they call the USB charger. Turns out it is just the Game Boy Advance SP charger. There's the volume knob, pretty lame. Now the charger that it came with, 
See, there's the end. Plugs in there. I came with one of these. Which, fine. It came from Hong Kong, so I guess that's uh, fair enough. Let's go ahead and flick it on and see if I can get it to... Nothing! Oh! It would help if I put the battery in. Okay, now let's turn it on. Oh, the speaker? Turn it on. That is your speaker. That. Yep, that's it. No other speaker attachment anywhere. I don't know if the uh, the adapter for the SP would work on this thing. I don't have one anyways, so. But as you can see, it's got uh, such classics as Contra, Double Dragon, Bomberman, Dig Dug, Elevator Action, uh, Binary Land, Crash, Small Bald Head, uh, Ice Climber, Load Runner, Mappy, Ninja Coon, which is weird, Pac Mania, Spartan X. Spartan X turns out is Kung Fu, Super Mario. Tank, which is a weirdly kind of a cool game. I like it. Uh, Wrecking, which I guess that's Wrecking Crew. Uh, Pinball, Sky Destroyer, Space E.T. Or Space Et. He et his biscuit. But, and Donkey Kong's one through J. Now you probably know what all these look like. If you don't, uh, you've kind of been under a rock. Let me go ahead and get this set up, and we'll take a look at some of them. All right, here we go. So to start one of the games, you select the game, then you push the start button, which is right there. And then you play the... And then you play the game. Now let me go ahead. Oh, I always forget this. Take that little shield. Oh, the joy of playing through a viewfinder. You don't want to go in there. You may never realize how much the screen moves around in a handheld, so you're looking at something else through it. Oh, and the regular button, and that's the turbo button. Oh, 5,000. Reasonable. Pretty good for not having played this in a while. Alright, so what you do is, uh, when you're done, you push the reset button. Takes you back to the selection screen. Go ahead and play some, uh, show you Ninja Coon. Oops. Yeah, that's the other thing. You have to remember to push start. If you push A, it skips ahead a while, a ways. Now, I have no clue what this game is originally called. Maybe it actually is called Ninja Coon. But essentially, you can jump, and you can throw a little star. And the object, apparently, is to kill these little guys. If you die, you fall off. Ah, crap. That's, uh, that's Ninja Kun. Go ahead, Crash. This is a weird one that I don't get. It's called Warwolf. It was called Crash on the first one. And... If you understand that, you're better than I am. And you get this cutscene that explains something. And then you can punch and jump. I'm 
figured out exactly what. As you can see, I've got a life bar down there. And there. I defeated the enemy, so I grabbed that. And apparently I turned into... a... Warwolf? Okay, right, enough of that. But there, you get the idea. This is a goofy little cartridge. Uh, in order to do that, we need the AV cables which are hiding in the bottom of the box that I haven't even unwrapped. But let's go see how these work. All right, so we've got the CRT TV here. We've got it plugged in. Got it hooked into the top of here. Now let's go ahead. It says to turn this on first. So we'll turn it on. We've got the green light on. look that bad. Whatever those things are. Tripod and we'll give this a shot. Alright, that's uh, about the best we're gonna get. Play some Contra. Now the cool thing is, is that I don't know what these are all different codes that apparently can be entered in. I forgot to mention this. But let's say shotgun. Now it starts up normally. I guess they're game genie codes or whatever. I don't remember I Never use the Game Genie codes, but since we picked Shotgun, we're gonna end up with... Sorry, I had to stop my dog from snoring. We're gonna end up with the Spread Shot. But I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed. Well, I'm impressed with the and every time you die, you get the shotgun back again. Now you can also semi-cheat in this. And just hold down the turbo. Came over. Okay. But yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, see, it's uh, it's kung fu. But that's uh, that's the PvP. Yeah, I'm horrible at this game, so yeah, don't judge. There it is. So if you're uh, interested, uh, Deal Extreme. I think it was twenty some odd dollars. But uh. If you're looking for something that's orange and fun, go ahead and pick it up. As always, play on!